Hello friends, in this session I'm going to show you how to modify column names or data types in a table using GUI or commands. Now go ahead to our table, right click and then click design. So let's try to make few changes to the column names here. So I want to make change at role description, disk to description, full name and work exp to experience. And then let's uh, try to save these changes by clicking on this icon, save employee. So changes has been saved, right? So now right click on the table and refresh to see the changes in the column names. So column names has been changed. And then now let's try to make changes to the data type. So ID, I want to change that to integer. Click and then try to save. So it's uh, preventing us to save changes saving changes is not permitted because there is a table drop and recreation happening. So now cancel it. So by default SQL Server, SQL Server, Store, SQL Server Management Studio comes with prevent changes when table drop happening. Now in order to disable that or enforce force SQL Server Management Studio to do these changes when we are sure about what we are doing then let's go to tools in the SSMS tools and then go to options and go to designers, expand the designer and table and database designers. Here you will see an option prevent saving changes that require table recreation. Now I want to disable or uncheck this and click OK. Now let's try to save again. So changes done, right? Now right click on the table and refresh and columns so you will see the changes. ID is integer. So, so now you can make any changes you want. You can change column names, you can change data type, allow nulls and custom properties that we have for each column. So whatever changes you want to make you can do in this way. Right click design and in the editor and you can save these changes if you are pretty sure about alter doesn't happen any cause any issues like when you want to change some start date date time to date or something then it you you may lose some data in the table right so when you are pretty sure about what you are doing and everything then it's good to disable the option that we have here in options table and database designers here uh, and then you can re revert it like you can uncheck you can check again once your changes has been done okay it's a good practice and so we are now done with changes using GUI and and also for column names for easy changes like column name changes then you can also uh, edit your column name here let's see uh, here let's select the column name and click F2 or Let's uh, select the column name and double click on this. So you will see here. No, not here. So let's select the column name and F2. Click F2 and then re rename the column name here. Roll disk. Yes, I want to rename. And experience. And yes, I want to rename. So this is also another way for column name changes only. Okay, so for data type changes, we have to go to design and then change. So this is how we can do changes in SQL Server using GUI on a table. Now let's see how to use commands or how to get the script be behind this execution using GUI for alter table column names or data types. Now go ahead to the columns, sorry, go ahead to the table name, right click, design, and let's try to make changes again. I integer to begin, and, uh, and let's uh, try to generate the script and the role disk to description, work experience to experience. Now let's, uh, right click on the don't save it and right click on the left to top corner and you will see an option generate change script so click on the generate change script and you will see 
the script behind this execution. So copy the whole script into a clipboard, copy and click no. I don't want to make changes using GUI. Now click close and no. Now new query, take a new query and paste here. So you will see all. So begin transactions is to enable transaction. Uh, I haven't covered it yet. So you will see this in the later sessions and, uh, and you can ignore this for now. You can delete all the commands. That's not the uh, mandatory part. Those are comes into transactions and you can delete commit as well. And uh, so if you notice, it's creating a new table. Control Z once. So here, as we are using GUI to make, as we are using GUI for modifications, it's actually trying to create a new table name, temporary table name, temp underscore employee with uh, our new changes. And then it's a dropping table and then it's executing the table again, renaming the table name to the actual table name. So this is the script that we are getting when we take change script from the design. So this is how the script has been generating when we are executing uh, changes using GUI. But actually, uh, but we can actually do this without doing like this. Okay. So let's uh, understand the commands here. So I don't want to use these commands we it's not so sql server for gui automation like uh, to make changes using gui sql server follows a different syntax like this to perform some set of actions that we made in gui but these are not the actual commands that a sql developer going to use to perform this kind of changes or actions on a table okay so let's see now let's try to understand what are the actual exact commands and good practice commands that we need to use to make these changes so ignore about this and let's understand only this command rename table table name and object okay so i want to delete all this and no need to worry about these commands and leave that to SQL Server GUI part and delete all this and delete all this. And let's concentrate on this command. So what this command is doing is execute SP underscore rename is a function, a store procedure that SQL Server default store system store procedure that's performing this action for us. So this store procedure has three parameters. One is table name, schema dot table name and then table name, rename, new name. So what this store procedures can do is this is a system store procedure useful to rename any object in SQL Server to a new object name. So here the command is doing table rename. So this is the old table dbo schema dot table name and this is our new name to this table name and then it is an object type so this store procedure takes three input parameters table name table new name and object this is not table it means it's an object name right so let's try to implement or use this command to make our changes using command so i want to so let's remove this. So execute sp rename underscore rename. Now the first one, I want to change column names changes in this table, right? So let's drag this into here. dbo dot employee comma. And then I want to change employee dot role disk to role description and then this is of type column right 
so understand uh, please try to concentrate on so please try to concentrate here so hits please try to concentrate here it's executing sp underscore rename store procedure on this table schema table name and then column name comma it's a new name to this column and then it's of type column right so let's execute this command so executor successfully now right click on the table and refresh it columns role description has been changed right so let's say you want to change the data type so this is the command that we use to rename kind of operations okay to rename column names we we have to use or to rename table names so let's say you want to rename table name here so let's say dbo.table and then i want to change that to employee or emp and that's of type object now execute this now right click on the table and refresh again not table tables refresh again now you will see emp okay so and i want to change revert this change to employee employee and then employee Sorry. execute now tables refresh you will see that name change you can also make that change here in the gui like click on the table name and f2 so it allows you to modify the table name okay and then using command this is how we can use this command to rename any object in sql server it's applicable to all the objects in sql server like table column database and all okay now let's uh, try to make changes to the data types using command so for data type changes you can follow alter table name table name is dbo dot table name and then alter again i want to change column i want to change column integer id i want to change id to big integer from integer so here notice okay i'm sorry alter table table name so the syntax follows like this alter table table name alter column id and then the new data type i want to give to id okay so no need to specify the whole data type so we are just we are directly modifying the column data type using this command so now let's try to execute this command to make changes to the data type of id column in dbo.employee table now let's execute this command so executed now right click on the tables refresh and then dbo columns so id is begin so these are the two commands that we use to make changes in a table so execute sp underscore rename is useful to rename objects in sql server like table column or any other object and alter table table name alter column is useful to change data types of column in a table please comment if you have any questions and like share subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you